You know, I think there are many perks to wearing glasses, like let's say absolutely nothing. So I've been wearing glasses since I was about 10 years old, right around fifth grade. And since then I have had close to seven pairs of glasses and of course a lot of stupid experiences to come with it. Mostly revolving around getting hit in the face with balls in different ways and people touching my face. Oh my God, dude, you're so blind. <laughs> Bro, like how can you even see with these, man? Now I don't know if it's because I would always watch TV with my face three inches away from the TV as a kid, but I have terrible vision. You know how 2020 is like like the perfect ideal vision rating? Well, my vision out of 20 has been in the negative since I was a kid. That's right, you guessed it. My vision is so terrible that I might as well be a, uh, you know, uh, uh, an armadillo or a bat. Bowl of spaghetti. The point is, I can't see very well. My vision is basically 140p at all times, which is actually quite tragic. I'll never be able to witness the beautiful things of this world without the assistance of my helpful spectacles. But wait, if my vision is 140p, maybe my eyes just have really bad Wi-Fi connection. That's not funny. So throughout my entire school life, people would always be very intrigued with my glasses and would ask to try them on. So after I gave them permission, they would grab the glasses off of my face, then I would just awkwardly squint at them very patiently wait for their freakout reaction and eventually get my glasses back. However, since my glasses have always had a very high prescription and would probably distort your vision, every interaction usually went something like this. Okay, these look kinda cool. Oh, my eyes! Dude, like, how do you see with these men? Like, oh, whoa, dude, I don't even understand. Oh, dude, my eyes! Dude, did you know that you can't see very well, dude? Dude, no way, for real? I can't see well? How did you figure it out? And how did I not know until just now? Have I been living a lie this whole time? Thank you, my beautiful peer, for delivering me this urgent and perspective-shattering news that I can't see well. There's no way I would have known. It's not like I've been using these eyeballs for my whole entire life or anything, or the fact that my glasses are two miles thick, or that when I take off my glasses, I'm like, oh shit, everything's blurry. I thought I was just hallucinating. But thanks to you, I now know that I can't see well. Thank you. But you know what? It wasn't that bad because sometimes cute girls would ask to wear my glasses and touch my face. And those were good times. Hey, Errol, is it okay if I try your glasses on? Yes. Ah, the beauty of physical contact. You know, I'm pretty used to wearing glasses, but I still can't get over how useless they are against the weather in contact sports. A little bit of rain and BAM! Your visibility just goes down the toilet because your glasses are covered in little raindrops. And I don't know about what country you live in, but in Canada, where half of the year it's cold and snowy, you always get this issue. Plus, that thing where your glasses fog up whenever you walk from a cold outside into a heated inside. And all of a sudden, you look like a scheming anime character that's doing that thing. You know, the glasses, the... That thing. And don't even get me STARTED on WEARING SCARVES! Uh, I like scarves. It sucks when you're walking outside and the hot air that you breathe collects in your scarf then it raises up and fogs up your glasses. I just want to be a fashionable, warm, and trendy person. But no, not without looking like this. I totally just realized that this has probably never been a problem to people who live in hot places. <coughs> Anyways, and of course there is sports. Now this doesn't happen too often, but when it does, it kinda sucks. So I'll be playing basketball with some friends and BAM I'll cross over and pass one guy with some sick moves. You know, a pretty feel good moment, kinda feeling like a badass. But then, as I'm moving, the momentum carries over and my glasses just decide to catapult themselves off of my face. Then I stop dribbling because I can't see the ball or anything. All of the cool things that I had just achieved in that moment have been cancelled out. Hashtag struggle. Not to mention that any other sport with a projectile ball is a potential hazard for embarrassment. Dodgeball, volleyball, basketball, chess. Wait, chess? People don't throw things in chess. What are you, stupid? <laughs> Last thing, so going back to benefits, a little side story for you. I would always use my glasses as an excuse to get out of class. So in eighth grade, for whatever reason, that was the year that I took the most balls to the face. So my glasses were pretty busted, and at one point, both of the lenses fell out. But since they were held in place with these plastic wires, I learned how to put them back into place. I could basically disassemble my trusty spectacles whenever I wanted. So whenever class got really boring or I felt like taking a walk, I would gently take off my glasses and just, you know, snap them in half. Okay, well, not the actual glasses, but, you know, just the lenses. Then I would raise my hand and politely ask with my professional acting skills, Teacher, I've broken me glasses. Can I go to the office to fix them? BAM! Free hall pass. Every time. At one point, some of my teachers started getting skeptical, but I just showed them my broken glasses all up in their face like, What you gonna do about it, man? The evidence is right there, bro. And they were like, Huh, well I guess he's not lying. Besides, what are you gonna do when a nearly blind little Asian boy asks if he can go to the office to fix his glasses? Tell him no? And make him sit through your class and struggle? You heartless motherfuck! All in all, I guess glasses aren't that bad. Sometimes they would cause issues if they flew off my face or blinded me frequently in the winter. But at the same time, there was that 6.348% chance of a cute girl asking you to try on your glasses. 
and touching your face. Hashtag word. Wait, but what kind of moral lesson is that? That's not even... What? Shh, shh, it's, it's okay. No, no one asked you.